Hey there, I'm glad that you're here. Thank you for joining me for day 27 of our On Purpose series. Today we're going to be talking about defeating temptation. Our minds need to be protected. Yesterday we talked about how temptation provides us with the opportunity for growth. But we need to remember that temptations are a constant in our life, and we need to have strategies in order to overcome them. In the book of Philippians, the Apostle Paul writes, and he says, Fill your minds with those things that are good, that deserve praise, things that are true and noble, right, pure, lovely, and honorable. When we try to focus really hard and we're like, ooh, I'm, I'm going to try and stop being tempted by that thing, we're just giving it more attention. But when we turn our mind away from those things that we're being tempted by, we're better able to move on. Another powerful tool that you have is other people. Last week we talked about how the church is family. And when we turn to another Christian for accountability, they can help us in our growth and commitment to overcome temptation. In the book of James, James writes, Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. It is important for us to be able to share our burdens with other people so that they can encourage us and we can experience inner healing. My question for you today is, who could I ask to be a spiritual partner to help me defeat a persistent temptation by praying for me? I encourage you not only to answer that question, but then to reach out to that person and say, hey, I would love for you to help me with this. And I'll see you tomorrow for day 28. Have a great one. Bye-bye.